In 1956, 11 years after proclaiming Indonesia's independence from 350 years of Dutch occupation, First President of Indonesia, Sukarno, received an honorary Doctor of Civil Law degree conferred by University of Michigan President Harlan Hatcher. As we celebrate 50 years of Dutch at the University of Michigan, we trace our paths toward a new frame for Dutch studies, one that emphasizes colonial repair and rethinks which voices matter. 19 leaders, thinkers, writers, scholars, activists, survivors, artists, and practitioners who have rearranged our thinking to break down traditional ways of doing Dutch studies make up a photo tribute that connects the five cases of this exhibit. Pottery of Protest, Whitewashed, by ceramic artist Mieke Zuiderweg, is inspired by the Dutch anti-colonial movement and is mounted throughout. In the display, a new canon, the exhibit leaves an empty space where the novel Max Havelaar by Multa Tuli would be. The top 10 book touted to have, in quotes, killed colonialism. With the empty space, the exhibit acknowledges the book's white saviorism that rang in the new era of colonial oppression and cultural genocide called the Dutch ethical policy. Musical works by African composers cede the bells of the carillon, a quintessential Dutch instrument, to those formerly silenced by apartheid and bell metal extraction while the message of Geoffrey Pondach plays in a loop in the Hatcher Gallery, confronting the Netherlands' continued denial of its colonial human rights violations. Willem Janszoon Blau's famous maps in our University of Michigan Library collections are purposely not displayed. The materials exhibited show the Dutch program's comparative approach to Dutch studies one that connects histories and cultures and creates understanding through familiar frames of reference. Our collection of Anne Frank materials is supplemented with Rudolf Mrazek's comparative work on the model camps of Theresienstadt, a Nazi camp, and Boven die Gul, a Dutch camp. A translation of Leendert van der Valk's article 1619 on the Dutch foundations of U.S. slavery at the highest institutional levels pairs with Marjolein van Paget's Banda, the genocide of Jan Pietersoon Koen, an analysis of the 1621 Dutch genocide and enslavement of the Bandanese people. Krista Suders, her picture positioned next to victims and survivors of the Holocaust, voices the intergenerational trauma of Javanese Surinamese diaspora people as she has been sharing it in our course, Anne Frank in Context. A collection of event posters, such as the 20th De Vries van der Kooi Memorial Lecture poster of Irene Butter and other program materials celebrate 50 years of Dutch at the University of Michigan. Navajo and Dutch writer, speaker and activist and 2020 candidate for US President, Mark Charles, ends our exhibit with his book, Unsettling Truths, the ongoing dehumanizing legacy of the doctrine of discovery, co-authored with Sung Chan Ra. The exhibit is part of a larger anniversary semester that ends in a symposium of four events featuring Bettina Weingart, Bambi Keupens, Krista Suders, Tiffany Ng and Mark Charles.